Let's add and subtract mixed numbers. This section is going to have a lot of calculations, so we're going to take as many shortcuts as we can. So we're going to have the 10 and the 8. That's going to give us an 18. Then we're going to have the 6 sevenths and the 2 sevenths. That's going to give us an 8 sevenths. But that's like 7 sevenths and 1 left. Okay, how do we do this, right? We do 8 divided by 7. We get 1. We get 7. That gives us 1. So it's 1 and 1 seventh, right? Because we have 1 remainder. So this 1 matches this 18. So we should get 19 and 1 seventh. So we're going to write 19 space 1 divided by 7. Hooray. Okay. 10 and a half minus 6 and 4 fifths. All right. Let's put these over common denominators. That's going to be 10, right? So it's going to be 5 tenths. And this is going to be 8 tenths. All right, so how do we do this? Well, we can put them as, uh, we, can, we can make them uh, improper fractions. So that 5 tenths is going to be 105 tenths, right? Because we, we take 10 times 10 and add it to 5. And then we have 6 times 10 is 60, so minus 68 tenths. And that's going to be 37 tenths. So that's going to be, right, if we do 37 divided by 10, we'll get 3 remainder 7. So it'll be 3 and 7 tenths. Okay, how about this? Hooray, this is gonna be terrible, right? One half is just two fourths. So we're gonna add the three and the three and get six. And then we're gonna add the one fourth and the two fourths and get three fourths. Okay, so we got through this one. We live to fight another day. That's gonna be six and three fourths. Ooh, seven and three. It's getting real, guys. This is going to be seven out of 21. Right? We can find a common denominator. This is going to be 12 out of 21. Make sure. We don't want to make any errors. Seven out of 21 and times three times three, 12 out of 21. Then we add the nine and the three, we get 12. We add the 7 and the 12, we get 19, right? So it'll be 12 and 19 over 21. Twelve and nineteen over twenty-one. Okay, here we go. So the two sevenths and the two thirds we're gonna do as over 21, so we'll multiply this by 3 over 3, and we'll get 6 over 21, and then this will be 14 over 21, and then this 7 and the 2 will give us 9, these will add up to give us 20 over 21, so we should get 9 and 20 over 21. Nine space twenty forward slash twenty one. Okay, here we go. Okay, we dodged the bullets. Now we can do this multiple choice, right? So two thirds is going to be four out of six. One half is going to be three out of six. And when this is bigger than this, we can kind of just take away, right? We can take away each one. So we can do nine minus six is three. 
it, the trouble comes when the four six is like would like the first fraction is less than we have to do an improper fraction or other things, right? But four six minus three six is just one six, so it should be three and one sixth. And that is this. Okay, how about this? Well, we've got one eighth here, which we can turn, well, that's we're leaving. This is we're gonna turn into six eighths. Okay, so now we have to be careful because it's, okay, so what we're gonna, what's happening here, right? We actually have three and six eighths is smaller, so we should just make everything in proper fractions, right? So we get, uh, three and six eighths, right? Eight times three is 24, plus six is 30. So it should be 30 eighths. And this should be eight and one eighth. So it should be minus 64 plus one. So 65 eighths. And that should give us negative 35 eighths. But how negative is that? Well, We'll just go ahead. We'll just do the 35 divided by, I won't do the negative right now. 35, it'll just be negative at the end. That'll be four, 32, three. So it'll be four and three eighths, but it's negative four and three eighths. Okay, how about this thing? Same idea. Luckily for us, everything's over six. So this is gonna be, Seven sixths minus, that's 36 plus five, is 41 sixths. Seven minus 41 is 34, right? So it'll be negative 34 sixths. We do 34 divided by six, we get five, 30, four, so five and four sixths. It's actually negative though, don't forget. But that's negative five and two thirds. Okay, oh, this is gonna be a fun one. This is a relief. One third and two third, they add up to one. Two and three, they add up to five. Five plus one is six. All right, had to end on a hard one. So multiply the top and the bottom by five. So we get 30 over 35. And this gives us 28. Now we multiply it by seven, 28 over 35. Okay, I'm going to, I don't feel like doing the whole, okay, I'll go ahead and do it that way. There, there are shortcuts, but I won't, I won't do them. So eight and 30 over 35, right, will give us eight times 35 is 240 plus five is 280. So 8 times 35 is 280 plus 30 is 310. So it's 310 over 45. And then 10 times 35 is 350 plus 28 is 378. So minus 378, that's a 35. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do 378 minus 310, which give us 68. So it's actually negative 68 over 35. So that'll give us 68 divided by 35, which will be one, and then we'll have 33. So it's negative one and 33 over 35. So hopefully we get this right.
Hooray! Okay, guys. Dodged a bullet. We didn't make any mistakes there. Have a great afternoon.